What's up guys, welcome to the Sports 2.0 Network's YouTube channel. I am your host of the video, Tanner Curran. I'm one of the content creators at the Sports 2.0 Network. And we're gonna be recapping the Indianapolis 500, the 105th running of the greatest spectacle in racing. It was an amazing race. Elio Castroneves pulled off the win, his fourth of all time. So we're gonna break that all down in today's video. In the 105th running of the Indianapolis 500, we witnessed history. Elio Castroneves captured his fourth Indy 500 title of all time. He joins three other drivers who are actually featured on the cover of this year's program with four titles, Rick Mears, Al Unser, and AJ Foyt, the three drivers prior to today who had won four titles. Elio had been searching for this for the past 12 years and he finally got it today. He won his first title in 2001 and he wins his fourth 20 years later in the Indianapolis 500. He ran a great race, he was competitive, he battled it out with Alex Palou down the stretch, but edged him with a few laps to go to get the win. Amazing to watch as a fan and spectator at the greatest spectacle in racing. Once Elio crossed the finish line, he got emotional and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway erupted. This one meant so much to him. You could tell he's been searching for it for the past 12 years and to finally get it today, uh, obviously he broke out in tears. He compared his win today to guys like Tom Brady, who had won the Super Bowl, and Phil Mickelson, who won the PGA Championship at not an old age, but definitely towards the end of their careers in telling that they still have it and they're still gonna show the Young Bucks how to get it done. He was inspired by Tom Brady's Super Bowl win, and he sure showed up today to Indianapolis and showed the Young Bucks how to get it done. Guys like Colton Herta, Renus VK, and Alex Palou were coming into this race as the favorites, as the Young Bucks that are taking over IndyCar and Elio was not gonna let that happen. 12 years later, he finally gets his fourth win. Uh, just an amazing moment to watch as a spectator at, in attendance at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway today. Uh, no other words to describe it, but it gave me goosebumps to see him taking his victory lap. There were people climbing the fence at the Indianapolis 500 like he does when he celebrates like Spider-Man, uh, and nobody was doing a thing to stop those guys. Everyone was so happy to watch Elio Castroneves capture his fourth Indy 500 championship. In addition to Elio's historic win, we had the fastest Indianapolis 500 in the 105 runnings of the race this year. There were only two cautions in the entire race. Stefan Wilson was responsible for one of those. He crashed in pit road and Graham Rahal also crashed a little later in the race. His right rear tire popped off, which ended his day. Scott Dixon and Alexander Rossi were affected by Stefan Wilson's crash in pit road, but they were able to finish the race, just did not have as good of a day as expected. So it was a fun race to watch for fans because there was not a lot of slow action. The green light was out most of the day and these guys pushed it to the limit and put together a very, very entertaining show. The return of fans in the Indianapolis 500 was so special today, it was great to watch and what made it even more historic was Elio's fourth win all time. So that was amazing to take in. The drivers are gonna be off now for a week and they will return to action on June 12th and 13th with the Detroit Grand Prix. So very excited about that. For more IndyCar coverage, guys, make sure to check out noobsports.com for all our written stuff and the Sports 2.0 network for video content on IndyCar. So this was Tanner Kern, guys. I'm signing off from Indianapolis. Hope everyone has a great Memorial Day weekend and I'll talk to you soon for another video.